Furries and hacking go together like tops and bottoms. Given that Disney has long been putting out furry bait, another group of furry hackers decided to get inside King Mickey. Now the name of the hacker group, and I swear I'm not making this up, is called Null Bulge. Now Null Bulge, what does that mean? Since YouTube basically hates my channel, a Null Bulge is when you have a prominent bulge and there's a lock pattern on the fabric of that bulge. That's all I'm gonna say. And in case you're wondering, Null Bulge's mascot is a lion with a Null Bulge. With that in mind, Null Bulge describes itself as a hacktivist group protecting artists' rights and ensuring fair compensation for their work. This hacking group has a convenient list of things that could get the Bulge to come after their next victim. These include promoting cryptocurrency, AI artwork, being a thief, and other things. So what exactly did this group do to Disney? Well, they infected Disney's servers with a Trojan horse. I'm pretty sure you know what a Trojan horse is, but I'll explain it anyway. A Trojan horse is when a software disguises itself as another piece of software to trick your system into letting itself onto your computer. So how did a Trojan horse get onto Disney's servers? If you know anything about the furry fandom, furries can be massive car geeks, real gearheads. So it wouldn't surprise you that this particular Trojan horse was part of a mod for BeamNG. An employee at Disney downloaded that mod onto their personal computer and that computer had some access to channels on Disney through an app called Slack that allowed Null Bulge to steal data before the employee could block further access. At the end of the day, after this hack, what was Null Bulge's real goal? Well, just like the rest of this tale, it was stupid. The real reason why Null Bulge hacked into Disney was because Disney had shut down Club Penguin in 2017. If you ask me, they just wanted to know who the future furry bait characters would be.